Hey, I'm Deborah from Blackbird Realty. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about rental requirements, basically what we need from you in order for you to rent a house from us. The first thing you'll need to do is go through the application process. Visit our website, you'll find tons of great information there for you, and you'll find the application. Every adult that's moving into the house that's 18 years or older and will contribute to the rent will need to fill out an application. There's a $55 fee for each of those applications. When we get that information from you, the first thing we're going to do is run a credit report. We need to find out, do you pay your bills on time, do you have any outstanding debt, or do you have any debt that's been forgiven? We'll use that information to help decide whether or not you're appropriate for our house. We'll run an employment check on you and also verification of your income. Your income should be at least three times whatever the rent is for the proposed house. So if the rent is $500, then your monthly income needs to be $1,500 in order to qualify for that house. We'll also check your residential history for the past three years. How long have you lived at a residence? Where have your residents been? We will run a criminal background check and we'll check the terrorist database. Depending on what information we find out from those screenings, we may ask you for some more information. And now here's George to give you some information on pets and the rental properties. A lot of our owners have no pet policies, and if you have a comfort animal, then you're allowed to request a reasonable accommodation for us to change our policies. We use a third-party site to help us with that. It's called PetScreening.com, and they will gather information from you, and if your animal qualifies as a comfort animal, emotional support animal, they, there's no charge for them verifying this. They'll let us know if the uh, HUD guidelines are met with regard to the reasonable accommodation and we'd be happy to uh, have you and your emotional support animal on the property. Uh, if it turns out that it's a pet and the owner is adamant about no pets in the property, well then we can't, we can't accept you and the pet. But emotional support animal, reasonable accommodation would be approved and we'd love to have you. The school that your child may attend is also your responsibility. You'll need to find out which school the specific house that you want is zoned for. You can go on our website and we have a link to the Clark County School District. There you can find out all the zoning information for your child's school. Thanks for checking us out. Have a great day.